This is Twit. One of the more fascinating aspects of the maker world is that people here aren't just trying to make the latest 3D printer or the latest electronic doodad. Some of them are genuinely trying to make the world a better place. That's why I'm speaking with Dylan from O Horizons, who has an idea for making clean water available cheaply for everyone around the world. Dylan, this looks like a concrete form. What's it doing at Maker Faire? Um, so we're O Horizons, and this is our wood mold. We've uh, engineered it, and you pour concrete into it. it. We have a construction manual on our website. Uh, it's open source, so anyone can go on our website and download it and build this mold. Uh, each mold can make 50 concrete filters, and uh, then the filter gets filled with sand and rocks. It goes in a family's home in a developing country and uh, filters their water. It takes 98% of the bacteria out of the water. I've seen projects like this, and they, they get tripped up by the fact that the design ends up being too complicated to replicate at the local space. I mean, yes, you can put up all the plans, but if the, if the parts are exotic, or if the materials that you need aren't readily found, or, or if it's just too expensive yeah. to make each copy, it never takes off. Can you show me some of the things that you've done with this mold to make sure that that's not going to happen? Yeah, so biosand filters, which are the filters that we do, um, they were originally designed to be made with a steel mold. And the steel mold, you needed a skilled welder, and you needed um, the startup costs were about 10 times as expensive as this wood mold. So. Wood is the beginner's metal. Uh, so, I mean, this one we have a very extensive construction manual, but it's really not too hard to follow. It's very step-by-step, user-friendly. Uh, and a lot of organizations have actually tried to make a wood mold because it's so much easier. But a couple of the iterations that we've made for this is uh, the support materials. So instead of screwing uh, screws right into it, which actually warped the wood, we use these support materials and these bolts that actually lets you allow, allows you to make more of these wood molds and more filters per wood mold. And then we have this inner collapsible core right here. So it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You pull out the dagger board, and this is actually patented, and uh, it collapses in on itself, and it allows for so many more of these um, uh, concrete filters to be made from each wood mold. So basically, it's just trying to make the biosand filters, the production process, as simplistic as the filters themselves. I love this. I especially love the collapsible part of the mold because I've had that problem where I've made a mold and then the wood pieces become part of it forever because yeah, I can't remove them. It, yeah, exactly. Um, it, lots of field research and actually working. Uh, our first project was in Honduras. and. We started seeing that this isn't sustainable. We need to go back to the drawing board and figure out how we can make this better. Uh, our organization's motto is low tech, high thinking. So it's all about being creative and figuring out how we can make this as easy as possible. Also, kudos to you for making your booth a place for young children to come and actually find out what goes into making a water filter. I see yeah. they're playing with sand, they're playing with charcoal, they're playing with different materials. This, this really is one of these projects I think everyone should know about. So once again, could you tell our audience, where can they find you? Where can they find O Horizons? Where can they find out more about these forms? Yeah, so uh, ohorizons.org. Uh, we're a nonprofit. You can go on our website. We have uh, technical resources on there where you can find out about biosand filters. You can download our construction manual and actually make the wood mold yourself. Um, we're all on social media, so O Horizons. Uh, on Twitter, we're ohorizons.org. But um, yeah, we're just trying to reach as many people as possible, make the world a better place. Thanks again, Dylan. Thank you for giving one of the, I'd say one of the inspirational stories of Maker Faire. Folks, Dylan, O Horizons, think big and drink cleanly.